Trash. Okay, so here's the review. Hey Gmodists, we're here again, and here we are for an unboxing video. Because you know I have had some issues with my graphics card, and I found a solution. I spent all of, okay, not all, but most of my hard-earned YouTube money on a new computer. Because my GPU, it's, it's old for one part, I don't think it's possible to repair it, and if it is, it's probably not worth it. I also need a better computer. So, I bought myself a laptop. This is a pretty good laptop. Basically, I need a portable computer that I can work with from here and anywhere else. I have recently been to Thailand, actually. That's some videos that will be coming up. I was uh, recently on a trip, so we'll have some taste comparisons and some small videos from there that I will edit together. But first of all, we need to get a computer that works properly. So, uh, I bought a Lenovo laptop because I thought that I actually need to be able to take my work with me in the future. So, that's why I basically came up with the idea I need to have a good laptop again because it doesn't work with a like stationary computer when you want to be portable. This is a Legion. I already don't remember what it was called, but that doesn't matter because you know that the title in the description says exact model it now was. So we're going to we're going to open up it here. Alright, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Here we have interesting packing. And one thing that's really interesting about this Lenovo laptop, it sets a uh, kind of a little bit low-key gaming laptop. So they try to, it of course has RGB and all sorts of cool gaming stuff, but uh, it also doesn't scream gaming. It has kind of a tasteful kind of a build. Okay, so here's the reveal. The Legion laptop. It looks beautiful. It's, it looks so sleek and so gamingy, but also so worky and so minimalistic. I like it a lot. It's a 15-inch uh, display. I usually go with 17, so it's gonna be interesting, uh, but I was able to get this uh, for a good deal. Uh, but it was horrendously expensive though. Um, but anyways, it has the oh, uh, uh, keys I need because, you know, Sweden. But yeah, that's the laptop. It's pretty cool. Again, this cost me a lot of money. So if you want to support the channel, this is a good time. We have Patreon if you want something for it. But uh, to make it a little bit more interesting, I actually added access to videos before anyone else for all YouTube memberships. So if you want to become a member of the Ecclesiology of Demonism, you can watch all my videos when I upload them, you don't need to wait for the weekly schedule. That means that sometimes you can like binge watch uh, Gimla battles or whatever. There are like two uh, already uploaded as we speak, by the way, that all the YouTube members can access the Ecclesiarchy of Gimodays in the airport. I'm really excited to get this uh, laptop working. Uh, of course, it's gonna take a long time for me to move over my uh, work to this PC. But it's gonna be worth it, of course. It has a better GPU, it has, a, it has a double the RAM, it has a faster processor. And the reason why it became so expensive is that I felt that I can't buy a laptop and downgrade my performance because I would feel so horrendously sad. So I was thought that it at least has to be 30% better than my current setup. And this little thing is about 50% better than my current setup setup, which you can see in Twitch still, I believe, the stats are there, which is completely amazing because this is so small and it is faster, much faster. Of course, it's like new, it's just like it, it was launched this year and all sorts of people have uh, also been preaching this to the sky. I've always been an Acer guy uh, <laughs> and I actually tried to get some type of a partnership deal with Acer, but they wasn't looking for anyone with English speaking capabilities, so uh, that didn't lead anywhere. So that means I, uh, I just, uh, I just wanted to try a new brand. The like manual isn't very long nowadays, at least, so that's good because I guess nobody reads them. We also got this thing. We got a little box here. I assume this is the adapter. Strange box. 
power cable with a Swedish plug. That's a pretty big block. Trash. Anyways, here we have uh, the uh, here we have the power block. It's flat. Comes in a fire hazardous paper cover. Why? What's the purpose of this? Remove this protection paper. Protection from what? It's in a fucking cardboard box. Okay. One thing that's pretty cool with this Lenovo laptop is that they use like partly recycled plastic and aluminium for the uh, casing of this thing. Um, so I think they could do a better job though at keeping the packing even more minimal. This is just a small thing though, nobody cares. Okay, 330 watts. That's pretty insane. That's like half the power my current desktop uses. Cool, looks nice. So, a simple plug like that. We can of course switch this with another type of plug if we are uh, visiting and working from another country, which we will probably be doing in the future. You will get news about that pretty soon, I would suspect. But anyways, here we have a strange little unit. What is this? So this is a bomb. No, it's not. Uh, okay, so this is what... Uh, okay. So, keycap. Ew, that's pretty amazing. I have been looking, like I have, no joke, been looking for this uh, before. So these are ceramic keycaps, and here are some instructions. And we can basically tape these and replace some of the keys, probably WASAD with ceramic keycaps. That's pretty cool though. That's nothing I did expect. And here we have small scissors and stuff like that to just uh, replace stuff. And this is a tool for changing that. That's cool. I have been, I, I, I have been looking at what would it be to use ceramics to kind of write instead of plastic? Because I've been thinking, what are some ways I can like remove plastic from my life? Uh, and I'm thinking I have contact with the keyboard all day. So maybe if the keyboard wasn't plastic, it would be pretty cool. So I've been looking at ceramic keycaps and we actually get four of them here. Maybe we can change the entire keyboard or ceramics. That would be absolutely crazy. Well, we of course need to start this up. But we have unboxed it and it looks it looks really nice. At the end of this video I will uh, stick in some footage of this uh, computer running. But it feels very sleek, it looks very sturdy. Uh, it's of course a nice feeling um, from the chassis because it is aluminium mostly or at many places. And we have a plastic here on the top here. But it feels like pretty thick plastic so it doesn't feel that plasticky right and the top is aluminium too it does feel very high quality and it does it's just such a sleek design so i'm really looking forward on getting this going and moving over all my stuff here it is possible we need to upgrade the hard drive on this thing and a lot of different videos will be coming up of all sorts of things. So basically what's in the workings now is that, uh, you know, I've been on some travels, I was uh, sick for a while and I have gotten behind a little bit on schedule, but I have a lot of works on the current setup. Uh, issue is, as you probably heard me complain about, the GPU crashes the entire system from time to time and it is a hardware related uh, problem. Uh, it's not cooling. I picked it out, clean it out and everything like that. It's, it's just won't work. So um, I still would need to try and finish off some projects on that computer because it has a very specific setup. And then I'm going to move over to this one as fast as possible. And as soon as I do that, we'll be getting better frames and hopefully better videos. Of course, this will be connected up to the rest of the setup. I also have some pretty cool ideas on what to do with uh, the old setup. It's actually going to be a kind of media computer and we're probably gonna make a little video about repainting chassis and stuff like that. But um, as for unboxing our new Legion laptop, I must say I'm very impressed with the feel of it just like this and it, it just feels high quality and it's pretty cool they try to use some recycled components even though it probably doesn't matter very much at all but you know we should be connecting this in and just uh, look a little bit on what it's running just some quick bits uh, that will clip into this video well i hope you enjoyed watching this little unboxing video 
from the get-go the product feels high quality but we're gonna do some tests and checks of course and also that you got a little update on what's happening with Jimmy channel and also a new reason why you want to support us. Thanks a lot for me, this is yours, Jimmy S. We're signing out. Well, you can see it uh, seems to be running absolutely fine. We're installing some updates and stuff. It has this weird inbuilt RGB and with the FN and space, we have some different uh, RGB modes. So we have this, this little um, strip down here. It's basically invisible, but uh, as soon as you start up the computer, you can see it's uh, uh, very obvious. So yeah, you can just select whatever works. That's that's how it is. Anyways, I of course need to update a lot of stuff here, install everything properly, maybe reinstall Windows. We're gonna see what we're gonna do about that. More tutorials will be about that in the future, of course. Other than that, I think it's pretty cool and we'll be uh, seeing each other in the next video indeed, if you stayed for this little after view. So in any case, this is your host, Jim Resm, signing out again. Whoosh.